In this video, you will learn how to log into PageLine, how to add pictures to your account, how to edit your website, and how to add documents to your account. In order to log into PageLine to edit your website, you're going to need to log into PageLine.com. Simply type in PageLine.com into your address bar and hit enter. This will take you to PageLine's main web page. You're going to select the login button to log into your account. Type in your desired email. followed by your password, and then select Login. This will take you to your account. In your account, you will have the Access Incorporated website. Now that you are in your web page, you will see that you have several actions. I'm going to cover the three main actions that you will be using. First, I'm going to show you how to add an image to your account. You're going to select the Manage Images action. This will take you to a folder where all of your images will be. To upload a new image, simply select Upload New Image. Select the image that you want. I will do Access and hit Open. As you can see, it has uploaded the image. And you can either edit this image or delete it at any time. For right now, we'll just keep both of them. You will then select the Close button and you're done. Now, to edit your site, you'll click on the Edit Site action. As you can see, this is going to be your website. Everything on the left side here, the banner up top, and everything on the right side is stuff that has already been programmed by us. The only thing that you will need to edit or can edit is any content in the middle of the screen. To edit this, you'll select the Edit button and you will see everything that's in the middle of the screen and you can just highlight and erase things as you see fit. If you would like to go to a different part and change the content of that, such as what's new, you simply clicked it and then you can click edit and you'll be able to change it. Now, to add a picture like the one we just downloaded, you will go to this little icon here, which is insert slash edit image. And once you click on it, if you click the browse button, this will take you to your folder that we saw in manage images. Simply select the file you would like to upload and it'll appear there. PageLine requests that you add an image description so that way if anyone isn't able to see your picture, a description will appear and they can at least read what it's supposed to be. With this, we will just type in mother and child. And then select insert. And there your picture will appear. Once you're finished making any changes, you need to select OK. And if we scroll down, we'll see the new added picture. Now, you're not quite finished. Since we've added a picture to this website, we need to save it. You have three options for saving. You can publish it and have it sent straight to your website, or you can save it as a draft and have other people look at it, or you could save this page as a template, so that way if you wanted to make several what's new pages, you could just refer back to this one as a template version. For right now, we'll just save it as a draft and then you can select close. Now, the last thing that I'm going to show you how to do is manage documents. Select that and a folder will appear with a list of any documents that you may want to add to your website. Right now we have your tax form. You can edit this document or you can upload a new one and it works the same way as the photo. You would select the file you would like to do and then hit open and it will be added to this folder and you can delete things and it will ask you if you're sure and you select OK and you can upload the forms the same way that we uploaded the pictures. Congratulations! You've just learned how to edit your website. To log out of PageLine simply go to your name and hit log out. 
and you'll be redirected to the login page. In this video, you just learned how to edit your website using PageLine. Should at any time you have any questions or concerns, please email Brian Dillinger. He will be available for support for up to six months. You'll be receiving a document that will explain how you can receive support after the six month period is up.